What is up you guys and welcome to Star Wars Comics. Awesome that you guys could make it and I do hope this video makes your day better. That's why I literally strive every day to bring joy to you guys but you know some drama between the Sith is not bad either. This is what I think. Sith by their own nature were divas and there was no bigger diva than Darth Vader. He was always a frightening presence in any room and he made sure to let you know. What he hated mostly though as as the years went on is the Empire's reliance on technology. You guys know, we have seen this. There had been many times where he considered technological advancements as abominations and blasphemy to the power of the Force. You could easily consider Vader a traditionalist, which was fascinating because he was much, much younger than Sidious, who had no problem with using the power of technology to advance his plans rather than using the Force in any way. If we actually look at it by what we have seen so far, the only time Palpatine uses the Force to his advantage during the Imperial Era is somewhat with Ezra, a little bit too on Ryloth because of necessity, and what we saw in Return of the Jedi, him trying to kill Luke in front of Vader. I mean, the roles should be reversed, right? Given that Sidious is the old fart here, he should stick by his old beliefs, not deviating from his Force beliefs, but in this case, it just wasn't like that. Vader had the old mind, and not even Sidious could change his true core beliefs. Why do I say that? Well, by now we have seen Vader bash the Death Star repeatedly. He stood before Tarkin and his admirals saying that their Death Star is absolutely nothing compared to the power of the Force. He even choked Admiral Modi the second he challenged Vader's ancient religion. There was no playing around with Vader and his struggle to prove that the dark side of the Force was powerful enough to achieve anything you want. And here comes his moment with Palpatine, where Vader kind of overstepped his boundaries and almost, he came close, but he almost yelled at his master. What happened? Well, Sidious in fact started all of this. Due to the fact that Vader failed in protecting the Death Star from getting destroyed, he not only gave Vader a tongue lashing, but now was working together with Silo to create new apprentices for Sidious who would eventually overthrow Vader as Sidious' right hand man. Now yes, Vader was kind of right, the creations by Silo were extreme cases of cybernetic enhancement, I mean that's just a staple of Silo. He was obsessed with augmented technology and anything that could make you better, which in his mind it made sense and it showed if we see his accolades. However, it just didn't make any difference, man. They still couldn't defeat Vader in a quick showdown that they had as Sidious watched. But afterwards, the Sith Lord invited Vader to walk with him. He was quite impressed with Vader at the time since he expected for Vader to literally fold after 20 years of nothing. Vader failed at every attempt to gain the throne, couldn't even come close to challenging Sidious after all these years and was basically stuck for decades. Now, however, he had amassed a small army, and instead of being furious, Palpatine enjoyed the fact that Vader might soon actually challenge him. Palpatine continued to say that he might actually stand a chance against Silo's creations this time. At that moment, Vader snapped. He was fed up with not only having his character challenged, but the sheer thought that these technological monsters could challenge him, that made him mad. He turned to Sidious and told him that these creations are abominations. What Sidious and Silo are doing is heresy, as his tone was increasing. Sidious did not take it lightly. He immediately put Vader in his place and reminded him to not forget who is the master here and who is the apprentice. All Vader needed to do is learn what Sidious had to teach and not stand there more machine than man and talk about abominations. After that, Vader never dared to stand up to Sidious again and to be honest, the logic that Sidious presents is very factual. Vader was extremely hypocritical when talking about technology as 
as an abomination when without it, he would have died long ago on Mustafar, right? What do you guys think about Vader's mindset here? Is he wrong or is he right? Talk to us down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up and hit that bell to get notified the moment a new video is up. Have an awesome day, my Star Wars friends, and may the Force be with you always.